Hi, everybody. I'm Terry Combs. I'm here with Jay Bissell, and welcome to another Equipment Zone webinar. And today we're going to talk about why start here, the Epson F2270. And, and basically this, Jay, this is a conversation you and I have had dozens of times and said, you know, we should share this uh, with all of our audience so they can get a little bit of an idea about uh, the people that come to us and say, hey, where do I start? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So true. I'm so glad we're recording this. Um, you know, the conversations and the questions that arise, people are asking us, well, should I get this DTG printer or should I get this DTF printer? You know, they, and the questions come up at trade shows. It comes up in the chats in, in conversations when we're having live webinars, phone calls. You probably deal with the phone calls and emails more than I do. But yeah, we wanted to have a conversation because truth is, you know, there isn't a wrong choice. But I think it's really important that we clarify, maybe, you know, clear the decks, clarify the, the concept of why one over the other or when it makes sense. And, and Terry, you got to know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of yours. And so I tell people all the time, if, if you want to talk to a sales rep, you should probably call somebody else on our team. If you want to talk to Terry, who's a trainer and happens to know everything there is about these printers, you should talk to Terry. Well, Meaning, I I, what I'm saying is, is you're you're just like trying to help people make a great decision. You're not trying to sell them into something. You're not as biased. And I and forgive me for being this honest, but it, sometimes we run into some pretty biased characters in the uh, the trade show circuit. If you know what I mean, we we do, Jay. And I and I've certainly told people, you know what? I don't think this technology is right for you. But uh, you you know, you and I have both been in education in this industry for a long time, and. And I've been uh, I've been doing uh, this for decades now. So starting as a, as a one person shop all the way up to seventy five production floor employees, and and you, you know Jay, every business is different. Everybody's got different markets. Everybody's got different capabilities. Everybody has different needs. And and uh, our job really is when somebody comes to us is is to get to know what it is you know what are you doing now what are you wanting to accomplish and and every story is a little different there's no cookie cutter oh absolutely you fall into this category this is what you need so uh you know we'll spend a little time talking to you about about where you want to go and what you want to do and and uh you know we'll certainly tell you if, you know this this isn't a good fit for you but um with with uh, what you can do now with an f2270 it's a much better fit for a lot of people now that you can do DTF transfers than it was uh, just a few years ago. Agreed, agreed, a hundred percent. And you know, we've been at the uh, the forefront, and I say we collectively as equipment zone, we've been at the forefront of digital printing, specifically direct to garment printing. I mean, I know you've got years, in fact, I would say decades of screen printing, screen print training. You're still, in fact, you're still you're still a trainer for screen printing, right? Am I wrong? I Right. I do screen printing classes uh, eight times a year uh, here in Phoenix and in Chicago at Atlas well, Screen Supply. Well, we'll talk about that in a second. I just wanted people to know, how, you know, again, if they, I don't know if anyone, this would be their first time meeting you. That would probably be impossible. But um, if you if you don't know Terry Combs, that's that's the well-rounded Terry Combs. He's been in the industry forever. But back to Equipment Zone, we've been doing this for coming up on 20 years, you know, the, the, the almost in a pioneer state back then. Now we've got, I mean, what, 12, 15 years of experience with DTG. And then we really jumped in quick when we saw the trajectory of direct to film. We weren't waiting around. So we knew that we needed to figure this out. And that's why I think this conversation is so important. And I love how you titled it. Why start here and, and tell me more about the Epson 2270? Because, Terry, people are kind of, uh, how do I say this, drinking the Kool-Aid, like all in on DTF before maybe they've done enough evaluating and enough research and enough talking to people like you who can tell them if this is a great fit or not. A hundred percent, hundred percent. You know, and Jay, uh, the conversations that, that I have, I know you've had as well. Uh, somebody will say, I, I know I'm interested in this technology, but I don't necessarily have the orders today or or I'm not, I'm not sure how soon I'll have the business to, to be able to run a, a full, uh, DTF only printer, and and so uh, those are the folks that that I'm talking to about the F2270, and and certainly we have the the DTG customers that it, even without DTF, because me as a screen printer, you know, I I love those uh, I love to be able to do those short runs with full color images 
that I can't do as a screen printer, but I can do with the DTG printer. And that and DTG prints have that feel, you know, of a screen print. But uh, to broaden that out, I'm I'm able to do a lot more things now that that it's a you know a dual use uh, machine. So, so some people are going to add this onto their business. Uh, screen printers, and I tell screen printers this all the time. You you need a DTG printer for those little short runs that you do. Embroiderers for uh, you know we always talk to embroiderers who say yes, I, I need yes. to be able to do T-shirts. Uh, it, it, folks who do uh, cut vinyl, um, heat heat press uh, uh, decorators, all different types of decorators out there. Or, uh, Jane, we talk to a lot of people, and this is really more your area. We talk to a lot of people who are in those adjacent businesses like promo product companies and uh, who don't necessarily do a lot of their own decorating. But this is the perfect product for them to be able to bring a little bit of that production in-house that they can turn a little faster for their customers. But And, and then, of course... Lots of startup businesses. We yes. we deal with startup businesses every single day, and gosh, it, it's so much easier today than it than it was back when I got started in in screen printing. There's just so much education out there. The processes are so much easier. But um, uh, let's talk a little bit about the 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 F twenty two seventy and and why it's it's uh, such a great way to start. And um, you know, for me, Jay. The, the thing that I say to people is say, I don't know if I have the business right now. I don't know if I run it every day. The first thing I say to them is, you know, you can turn off an Epson F2270 and leave it turned off for two weeks, come back, turn it back on and start printing again. Yeah. And that's the selling point for a lot of folks right there. Um, yeah, 100 percent. That's a yeah. big deal. I mean, that's that's a huge deal. And, and you know, the, the DTF printers are getting better, but they, they need to be run just just like the early days of DTG printing 19 years ago. Now, uh, you and I added it all up. We were hoping that was the 20th anniversary. I know. And it was only 19. Yeah, no, we were this close. <laughs> so next year, everybody stand by. <laughs> exactly right. No, that's great. I love that distinction of of being able to, you know, digital printing has its unique characteristics. And you're able to define the difference between DTG printers that have that 19 year head start or maybe 17 head years of head start compared to DTF printers. So that's really important for, for future owners to know um, that you can, you can walk away from the DTG printer and Epson's done such a phenomenal job on the maintenance. Um, it's, it's like, wow, it's not even fair, Terry, let's be honest. It's almost not fair. <laughs> I, I never dreamed 19 years ago when I was selling Nobody get on me about this. When I was selling T jets, <laughs> it was the it was the best there was at that time. But I never dreamed that there would be a machine I could just turn off and and walk away and come back from a two week vacation, turn it on, and start printing shirts again. It, it, it that, now you're in the realm of screen printing when you can walk away from your screens and come back after a long weekend and start pulling that squeegee again. So and, and, and you know there's some other advantages too, Jay that. A uh, very short learning curve and and, and the flexibility of, of all these different products from 100% cotton to 100% polyester. And Jay, everybody that knows you knows that anything that you can lay flat in a heat press has a DTF transfer on it. <laughs> your, office, uh, your office is cluttered with it. <laughs> it's, I don't know about cluttered, but you you are not far from uh, the truth when you say I'm, I'm often experimenting on other things, but I love that you brought up those two things because that's what I wanted to ask you about training, like the learning curve, you know, one versus the other, even, even maybe you could give us a comparison to screen printing um, yeah. and also the flexibility. So let's start with that, that training learning curve. What's that well, like? Well, absolutely. You know, when I do my two day screen printing classes, uh, one of the first things I tell folks is, listen, when you go home, you're going to be able to burn a screen. You're going to be able to set up a multicolor on your press. You're going to be able to print jobs. You're going to be able to service your customers. You're going to be able to price the product. But to be a master printer, to be uh, an expert screen printer, it's probably going to take you three years because all the variables, uh, the screen meshes and, and, and all the different specialty inks and applications you can do and, and dealing with all the different products because... You know, uh, if if I'm a screen printer, I'm printing on a polyester product. There's a lot of things I have to do to make sure that that it's dye migration. All the screen printers out there know what I'm talking about, where the dye from the garment comes up through the ink, and um, you don't have to deal with that with with DTG and or with DTF printing. And and so 
learning curve, curve over here, about three years, learning curve for DTGT, DTF printing, you're looking at 30 to 90 days. And, and, and the reason for that is the process is exactly the same every single time. Now, there's some little nuances. There's always a, little tips and tricks that you can learn. And, and, and those are the kinds of things that, that our techs will go over with you in your training. You know, how to, how to get that perfect print, not just here's the button to push, but how to get that perfect print. Um, but, uh, but it really comes down to uh, learning the steps, uh, properly curing the garments, things like that, and, and, and having good artwork. And uh, beyond that, you know, you're ready to rock and roll. And, you know, just like screen printing, though, there are a lot of folks who jump into this who don't necessarily spend the time, their, their 30 days learning how to do it properly. But uh, that, again, that's that's where training comes in. You know, you don't want to go out and buy a machine and and watch a video. Uh, you you want right. to be able to talk to somebody about how to do this properly. No, I love that. Thank you for explaining that difference. It really sets the stage well for what a screen printer might have to go through two to three years. And I know you say three years and I believe you, I've been around it. I've tried it. I've done it. And it's, it, it can, it can present a lot of challenges. That doesn't there's, mean there's always something new. There's always something new in screen printing to, the, to that's, process. That's true. And, and that doesn't mean that there are no issues with digital printing DTG cool. or DTF. And, and you're being fair there too, but I agree with you. I think the learning curve, that 30 to 90 days, you know, we have clients that are already existing sign companies. Like when you talked about adjacent markets, promo and print and sign companies, we think of them as our dysfunctional cousins at the family reunion. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, if you're a sign, if you're a sign owner and you've a sign printer and you've had a digital printer of any kind, a wide format printer, when you see that first DTF printer, you're going to be like, well, what's the big deal? It's, I yeah. mean, it's so, it's so common. It's, it's, it's like the brother of something you already had. So I think, I think it depends on the perspectives. Some people could get a DTG printer and, and feel right at home or a DTF printer and feel right at home really quickly. So, but I think most of our clients would agree with you that inside of 90 days, they're ready to rock and roll. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, we, we've had people buy additional machines within 90 days because their business just took off. Well, so it, you because if, it, if you're not selling product, you're not letting people know what business you're in. <laughs> yeah, good point. Well, that's a good bridge to you were teasing me about the flexibility of, you know, if somebody has an Epson F2270, today they're printing a DTG print, which has almost no feel, very little, if any, especially on light garments. And then like you said, might have that perfect screen print traditional feel, a little bit of texture on top of the garment, but right. it's very soft, very giving, and it, it's 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 uh it's kind of meeting the expectations. But the next day, with the same printer, you could print on film, and you could literally be doing what I do all the time in the test kitchen, trying paper products or wood products or cork, or seeing how low I could get the temperature and trying to do a a nylon umbrella. Why? Because I want to know what the limitations are. I want to know if it's possible. I want to be able to tell people on webinars like this, you know, and that's why Terry's kind of teasing me because whether it's a hat that's a hundred percent polyester or a blend, you know, those are different from a hat that's a hundred percent cotton or twill. So, I mean, that flexibility, that flexibility for me is, is a big reason why I love the F2270. Right. And, and when you, when you're using the BTF transfer, on one of those bleeding fabrics like 100% poly, uh, you don't have that dye migration because the the adhesive creates a barrier between your ink and the dye in the shirt. So it's really ideal. And 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 Jay, just look at some of the customers that you and I in the past have turned away over the years. Uh, I, I need 12 shirts for the team to wear to the tournament. And and can you do five uh, of, of these poly shirts for the coaches to wear? And you're like, well, yeah, I can uh, I can struggle through that and make it work on those poly shirts. But with with a DTG printer, you can print those uh, those 12 shirts DTG with a button click switch to DTF and and just make the transfers for those poly shirts and wham, bam, you're done. Yeah, again, almost not fair, Terry. I think you're making the case here. <laughs> almost not fair. You know, earlier you brought up the service and the support. I think that's also a, a giant um, opportunity or roadblock, depending on who you're dealing with. For us, we don't see it as a roadblock. We see it as an opportunity. What What can you tell us about that service or that training or that support yeah. with, with regard to the Epson F2270? 
Well, and, and uh, part of this is specific to Equipment Zone because a, Equipment Zone has built its reputation as the number one reseller of Epson DTG printers, not just in the U.S., but in the world. Uh, it's, it's built on, on training. It's built on support. And uh, first of all, uh, we'll spend a day with you in Zoom training one-on-one. -on -one, uh, our tech will be in front of their printer. You'll be in front of your printer. And and. They'll spend the day with you going through everything about DTG printing, how to do, do your DTF transfers, all those little tips and tricks to get really good prints. And um, our techs will not hang up with you until you are getting prints that you're happy with. So, uh, and after that, of course, Jay, we have uh, Equipment Zone has free phone support for as long as you own the equipment. And and Equipment Zone's been around at, and, and longer than you and I have been at Equipment Zone. It's been around for 35 years right. and uh, and have that reputation for ongoing support, ongoing support. So, and, and then let's turn to Epson. This is another advantage of, I don't want to do a lot of DTF transfers, but I want to get my feet wet. This is the perfect way to do it because Epson's warranty guarantees that if you need service, they will have a technician to your location within 24 to 48 hours. And that is anywhere in the country. And, 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 and Jay, we have, we have customers in every state. And North Dakota, hey, folks in North Dakota, that tech will be to you within two days. And, and they'll be, come in and do whatever they need to fix the machine. It's all covered under the warranty. And add to that, you can extend that warranty and have it be under warranty for a total of five years. And that's unheard of in this industry uh, with uh, DTG or DTF printers. A hundred percent. I think that's really a shining star when you consider the, the possibilities of knowing your printer's protected. You've got Equipment Zone taking the lead, but then Epson backing us up. And Terry, I don't know why you always pick on North Dakota, because I mean, if I were like in the Florida Keys and if I was or Miami, I mean, that that rep would probably be there in 12 to 24 hours. Let's be honest. <laughs> right. And maybe hang around for a couple of days. <laughs> you know, I think I need to come back tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but but that extendable service agreement is amazing because what it, what it tells me is that Epson's Epson's in it for the long haul. They they there's nothing about that printer that they don't already know that they aren't ready to fix and they have the parts it's unmatched can't can't be matched by any other brand it just can't we know that for a fact that's factual that's not us well, trying to sell people yeah and you know jay the the printers that and you're there in our tempe office there's a there's an f2100 behind you over there there's an f2270 behind you uh all of those have the original print head there is a printer back in storage now that that's been put to sleep because we already had another 2100 that was a prototype doesn't even say Epson F2100 on the front from Epson. That printer was one of the first six in the country when the 2100 came out, never had the print head replaced. And we printed thousands and thousands of sample prints on that, that printer. So, so bottom line is, yes, you can extend your warranty and, and we encourage people to do that in case something happens. Epson isn't expecting to knock on your door. They are so confident that that machine will run and run and run that uh, they, they feel comfortable giving you that warranty, not necessarily expecting to ever knock on your door. Yeah. And it's it's also comes to my mind when you think about, you know, having them in your corner when you need them. That's 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 re reassuring. But also I, I, maybe we could shift here a little bit and talk about how to avoid needing them. Right. Like, I mean, there are things that the owner and the operator need to be aware of. There are things to do to maintain the printer. It's not just going to be a, a maintenance free situation. It's close, but there are things that need to be done. And so maybe you could tell us a little bit about that when we're talking about why start here, why the Epson F2270 Mention something about the environment or tell us a little bit about, you know, what do we need? Do we need special electrical? Do I need to vent this thing or, or what's the story here? Sure. Well, let's start there. Uh, first of all, it's it's regular 110 outlet. Uh, all of the equipment to do DTG and DTF printer, you can just plug into the wall. Uh, no outside venting is uh, is necessary. We do um, when we are curing our um, our DTF transfers. We do have a little little vacuum that that pulls the fumes away. But uh, the the worst I've heard. And I've researched this is is the the fumes can cause some eye or throat irritation, but uh, uh, so we just have a little little uh, little uh, filter that system that we use with it. But more importantly is your environment for your printers, and this is true of all DTG and DTF printers, all of them. 
you need to maintain a humidity level of 40% plus in your facility. And, and Jay, I've had people say to me, no, I need to put this machine out on the production floor next to my screen printing presses. And you and I have both been in their screen printing shops where it's 50 degrees when you get there in the morning and it's 110 when you leave. I, I tell folks, listen, I'm going to encourage you not to buy this printer because you need a controlled environment for it for it to operate uh, correctly. So 40% plus humidity, normal office temperature. If you're if you're comfortable in there, that printer is going to be comfortable. But most of the issues I see, and if you go online and you see people saying, my, my printer is going through all these extra head cleanings or I'm having clogging issues, almost all of those issues are because the printer is not being maintained in the proper environment. It, it, it's, it's necessary for you to to maintain those machines properly and and if you do that you're rarely ever going to have any kind of an issue where you're going to have to have a service call or something like that yeah that's that's a big deal i'm glad you explained that clarity let's let's ask one more question because i know i know folks are probably eager to you know move on to the next <laughs> they're probably doing their research and they can't wait to go watch a dtf video on one of our youtube uh stacks here we've got playlists and other videos but but let's wrap with this. When you, when you think about the two options, if I'm a business owner and I'm thinking DTG printing or DTF printing, it's clear now we can say this. You don't have to have, it's not either or. It's, right. it's, not, it's not like a light switch on or off. It's more like the dimmer switch. You can blend it to where you need it to be. You may have a week where you're 80% DTF and you may have the next week where you're 80% DTG and you're just going back and forth. I mean, that I think is, is for me, a, a, an enormous amount of, of flexibility. And one of the things that I know we've talked about it already, but I, I just can't get over how awesome that is. Uh, it's just like you say all the time. Is that even fair, Terry? Is it fair that we have that much flexibility? You know, uh, I, I think you and I are both a little bit of uh, t-shirt nerds. Uh, I like that screen print feel on a shirt. So if I if I have the opportunity to do one or the other, I'm going to do DTG because it's going to have that that feel uh, that that uh, has a value added type of feel to it. At the same time, now I can do a lot of other products with the DTF. And you know, when I say we're we're kind of t-shirt snobs. All my spring printing friends say, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I love DTF or not. The end customer mm -hmm. loves the product. They, they jumped over us. They said, hey, I don't get what you're saying. I, I love this product. I think it, it looks awesome. And, and, and Jay, we figured out some ways to give it that that softer feel and sure. and uh, and give it that more of that DTG feel, feel or spring print feel as well. So uh, all part of the training that, that comes from Equipment Zone. Yeah, exactly right. Well, Terry, thank you so much. I think obviously you 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 hit these uh, soft. I was giving you some softies, wasn't I? But you hit them all out of the park. And uh, I appreciate the info. And I know our viewers and our and our listeners will be less confused. And that was our goal: is to bring some clarity, like I said, to the to the conversation and and to answer the question: Why start here? Why start with the Epson F2270 DTG and DTF printer? So, is there anything else you want to wrap up with before we tell folks goodbye? No, that's. Uh, I think we've covered it all, Jay. But if you need more information, you can visit us at equipmentzone.com. Perfect, Terry. Thanks again. We'll talk soon, okay? All right. See you later. Bye, right, everyone. Take care.